Hi, and welcome to Introduction to Photoshop. This is Photoshop here in front of you. Um, and it comes in many flavors and styles. Um, but this, what we're looking at here is a picture of a wine bottle open um, in the workspace. Now, uh, I'm just going to, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about workspaces. Window, uh, if you go to Windows workspaces here, um, you'll see there are many different kinds of workspaces. I have my own right here. Uh, but I want you guys to please um, start in Essentials Default. If um, it doesn't look like mine, hit Reset Essentials, and it'll go back to this. Now, if I take this out, if you don't have a wine bottle picture handy, which you should probably get pretty soon because that's uh, a cool thing to have, you can go File, New, and... Um, it will bring this up on your other monitor. And then you bring it back over here. Well, if you only have one monitor, it will bring it up on here. And then you can choose uh, what you have uh, to work with, just like Adobe Illustrator. Um, you have a photo and print. It gives you all sorts of options. Art and illustration, a web. And you know some of these comes with grids and things. Um, the film and video especially all have safety grids. Uh, so let's go web. And we will go uh, 1920 by 1080, this one. And um, it brought it up in my other window again. And if you can't see it all the way, you should be able to. You can select this thingy here is the magnifying glass or the zoom tool. And you go fit screen. And it will go. You can also see it has a little plus in it. So if I click plus plus, it gets bigger. If I click... Minus, minus, it gets smaller. Okay, so here is our workspace. Um, you can move the workspace, the art, we'll call it an artboard. We can move our artboard around uh, using the slider tool here on the side and up and down using this tool here on this side. Um, let's first look at the top bar. We're going to do deeper dive into most of this, but just so you have a cursory idea of what the heck's going on. Uh, we have File, Edit, Image, Layer, Type, Select, Filter, 3D, View, Plugin, Windows, Help. We've already looked at Windows. So Windows has uh, the workspace, uh, also has a range where you can pick a pre-arranged uh, uh, sort of layout for your work in case you're doing something weird. Uh, it also has um, opens up all of these. This is considered a window here, or this is a window, and this is a window. And if I accidentally close any of these, uh, by the way, you can uh, drag these around if you click on the name. And then if you want to dock them again, you can click on the blue bit. Uh, so say I want to open a window, and it's not in here, um, like gradients. Um, oh, gradients was in there. Uh, anyway, so gradients will pop up and uh, give me all the choices. And I can, if you click in this option box here, you can load and there's options for the windows. Um, this is create a new fi file. This is create a new, this is create a new folder. This is create a new layer. Uh, and this is uh, garbage. So I can click on one of those and do that, or I can add a layer. Everything keeps popping up on the other side, um, and so on. All right, so I can close that. Um, patterns, I can close that. I actually, when you get, uh, I can actually get rid of paths and channels because I don't need those right now. All I want is layers, colors, and swatches. And when you get your window to the way you like it, you can go window, workspace, uh, save workspace, and um, you can call it your your um, workspace, um, and you can name it like I've named mine here. Oh, you got to get I'm sorry, new workspace, and then it will allow you to name it. Okay, I know I was missing one of the buttons. 
All right, so let's start here, file. And if you look down here, the choices, all sorts of uh, opening, an option for bridge, open as, open, close, um, save as, save a copy, invert, generate, all, all sorts of stuff, print. Um, honestly, the ones that we will use the most often are open, new, uh, save as, and save a copy. Um, Photoshop has a horrible new function where it saves everything as a Photoshop file. Uh, and in order to save it as a JPEG or a PNG or something not a PSD, you have to save it as a copy. Um, why they ever invented that, I don't know, but it's like quadrupled the amount of work that everybody needs to do. Um, there it is. So you can save as, but you can only save as a PSD. Um, you can save a copy as a PNG JPEG or something if you're working at a PSD. A PSD file is like this one, right? Anything that has multiple layers is saved as a Photoshop um, formatted file or a PSD. Uh, anything doop, that only has one folder, one one file, uh, is uh, can be saved as a JPEG. So let's try that out right now. Save as, and hopefully that came in kind of Big, so hopefully that's still within the realms of you guys being able to see. Um, here you go. These are my options. Uh, I want to save it this picture as a JPEG, so I have to save it as a copy. And then all the other formats that should be in the first thing come up. So PNG, uh, and then I can save in there. Bunk. Great. Um, so that is the file, and then the rest of print and exit and stuff like that. Um, under edit, we have all sorts of fun stuff. Copy, paste, paste special. Paste special is in very interesting because you can paste in place or paste into. We'll be doing some of that later. Uh, search functionalities, fills and strokes, which you should probably do using other tools, not these ones. <laughs> Puppet warp is great. Uh, perspective warp is great. We'll use both of those on this assignment. Transform, uh, and then you have all this stuff. Perspective warp. Um, the uh, and I will just real quickly here draw. I will pick a color, and make it big, and draw the shape, and select that shape. And uh, a function I use all the time is hitting Control and T, and that gives me the what they call the free transform tools, which allows me to scale or squish or whatever. Um, great. All right, what is it else is an edit, uh, flip horizontal. And it basically edit is, if you wanna do something to something you have up already, you can do free transform or transform. And then it does all this stuff you see in here. A warp where I can bring up a grid and bend it all over the place. It's just like a vector image. It's got these math hooks on it, these handles. Great. Get out of there. Uh, image. Uh, image has uh, a mode. Sometimes you'll open files and you won't be able to do anything because they'll be in lab color, CYMK. Uh, most of Photoshop's functionality only works with a RGB at 8-bit. All sorts of stuff in here, including 3D and all the filters and stuff that don't work unless your image mode is 8-bit and RGB. Um, auto tone, auto contrast, auto color. I don't think I've even touched those buttons. Uh, image size is a good one, um, and canvas size. So image size is the actual size of the image. Canvas size is the actual size of the canvas. Uh, here's rotation for the entire thing. Uh, crop, trim, reveal all, duplicate, apply image, calculations, variables, uh, and analysis. Uh, a lot of this stuff we won't use. We will certainly use image size, canvas size and uh, possibly 